Hey, hi, hello, and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming Channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and hopefully add all kinds of awesome games to your backlog or your wish list or, I don't know, maybe you see something out here and you go, oh my gorsh, you know, like you do regularly, and you gotta play it now. It, it hits your now playing list. You know what? Anything can happen. Because you're going to see some awesome games here. And if you like rogues, I am just delighted that you are here with us. All right. Hey, I am back with Phage X. This is a space bullet heaven. It's got some interesting components to it. And so... I thought we'd jump into Phage X today and give it a go, have a run that's hopefully all kinds of juicy and see what we can see, right? I think we'll have some fun. Hey, you know what else is fun? This video that you are watching right now, this one is rated G. Do you know why? I bet some of you know why. It's rated G for giveaway. giveaway. How about that, huh? You know, the GOAT loves doing giveaways and this awesome community has grown to a size where we can do them. We can take the channel revenue and pump it right back in and do giveaways from all of us. Pretty neat, right? So. Be subscribed, leave a comment in the video about anything, and I will reply to one of you on May 8th, and you'll be a winner of a copy of Phage X. You too can jump in. Hey, speaking of jumping in, why don't we call our handy dandy spaceship and get some power-ups? So these over here can be used on these upgrades along the side. And then these tokens are used to provide additional support functions. We can either power up that ship that appeared to give us some defenses, or we can get some health back. So now you know everything there is to know. Not really, but kind of. All right, so at full tech meter, increase movement speed by 50%. Fire a long beam for one second that pierces through small units. Turn speed of the ship is significantly reduced while firing. Uh, yeah, let's get the Buster Beam. Shooting Star activates when the tech meter is full. Fire a spread of five energy bolts backwards. Shooting Star fires quicker with higher speed stat. Let's do that. Uh, let's see, what else is interesting here? 30% chance to trigger instant reload for each equipped weapon. Uh, gang an invincible kinetic field that protects the ship. Dash forward well. Uh, you know, I think we're going to release some damaging shrapnel around the ship when hit. That sounds pretty okay. Uh, emit a hacking signal. Sounds good. That's probably like space garlic, I'm assuming. Spread shard. Fire 10 shards in a fan-shaped spread. Excellent. We got one more point to spend here, and then we're jumping right back in. Let's go with an upgrade to the spread shard. And we're going to come over here. Full repair. Now, this is interesting. If I buy this, the next time it's going to cost more money. So you kind of have to think about it. Given that we're at 50%, I think I'm going to make the purchase this time. Try and hold off next time around. If we buy this, it's going to allow us to summon this upgrade ship that much faster next time. All right, now we're back in. Trying to gain more upgrade points. And you'll note at the top right corner, we have an incursion rate. And that's giving you an idea of how quickly the enemies are ganging in strength and volume. We can control that by eliminating larger enemy ships that appear on the scene and just kind of controlling the enemy force 
Now, that is a super ability that I just fired off there where we get vulnerability and whatever we touch during that uh, being fired off is going to be damaged. I figured with uh, the whole horde spawning in on us, that would be a good time to fire it off. Speaking of firing it off, you know what? Cheers to you. I've got an excellent coffee going today. Drinking the roast from Finland again. And it's quite good. You know, it's not quite good as our shield right now. But I want to talk about coffee because I also fired off a coffee order that I'm really excited about. This is the roaster that I've mentioned in the past that I wanted to check out more of their coffee because I've had their maple bacon and I like that roast. And if these other ones are good, ooh, let's upgrade our auto cannon. That sounds good. If these other ones are good, I am probably going to look into whether or not the channel could become affiliated. And so, you know, I could talk about these delicious coffees that I'm drinking. And then if you so chose, you could go out and uh, perhaps order some coffee and get a discount. Wouldn't it be fun ordering a coffee and having a discount code like the GOAT? You know, just imagine it. It'd be cool. No promises, though. Uh, like I said, I want to try the coffee out first, make sure I like it, because uh, you'd never see me out there saying, oh, hey, this coffee's really great. Uh, you should go and get a bag, and y there's a code, and you'll be supporting the channel. I I'm not going to be the Hello Fresh guy, you know? Um, if I'm not using it, if I don't like it, it's we're, we're, we're just... This just isn't that type of channel, okay? Um, so, I'm excited though. I've got, uh, I've got five bags on the way. One is mint chocolate. I'm excited about that one. And one of the other ones I'm really excited about is uh, fruit cereal. You know, so I imagine like a Fruity Pebbles type coffee. And I think this stuff is going to be really good with a splash of oat milk. So anyway, I'll report back. The coffee is supposed to come in a few days here. But I'm uh, I'm excited to say the least. I, I hope that I hope it's good. I hope it's good. All right. Our ship is almost ready and I am going to pull the trigger on its arrival as soon as it's ready so that we can get some health back here. All right, there we go. We will dock right now. There it is. All right. Uh, release damaging shrapnel. Yeah, let's reduce the cooldown time. That sounds pretty good. Uh, let's see. Energy bolt travel distance increased by 10%. What is this? Reactive armor shoots twice when hit. Why don't we do that? A little bit more of that shrapnel happening. We've got four more points here. Now these are just stat upgrades. So let's put it in regen. I like what I'm seeing here. So this will be maximized. The auto cannon will shoot uh, three shots per shot. Uh, let's go weapon damage. And what do we have here? Is this the shrapnel thing again? Reduce cool time to one and a half seconds. Yeah, let's do that. All right, I do want to get some health back. I know the cost is going to go up. And uh, I think that's going to do it for this one. I am playing keyboard and mouse. On the game, I, I think that uh, suits this quite well in terms of the control scheme on offer. 
Are you really just pointing and shooting? I have the uh, shooting itself turned on auto. Now let's get the hell out of the way of that. I really don't want to find out what that purple glowing ball is. Oh, there's... Okay. Well, hey, that, that worked out. If you notice that we picked up the purple circular item, uh, that is for the permanent meta progression in the game. And we'll show that off at the end of our run, like we typically do when we're uh, enjoying a bullet heaven here. Okay. Hey, there's some shield. Perfect. You know, I'm gonna fire off our special real quick so we can get the hell out of there. And I think we could go a little bit longer before we call the upgrade ship, actually. Let's grab this, let's grab this, that'll help. This game reminds me of a game I used to play on our Pentium computer. I mean, I, I know, we're, we're going way back in time here for a second. But we had... Oh, no! Oh, no! All right, those guys came out of nowhere. I guess I should have called this ship in real quick. Let's go to the upgrade area in Customize. You'll see I've got 20 of these guys now. And you can do these modifications where it will adjust what you're able to do overall. The only thing is, I don't know if this can get knocked down is my only question. So right now it's at 1.39. The modification potential is anywhere from 1.1 to 1.7. So I don't know if this can become a hurt me. Maybe it can. That's that's my assumption. Now, this is zero. Um, or, I guess, you hold on to it and you could potentially get more weapon slots. We've got these two. They're just not available uh, right now. I probably have to unlock them somehow. So, let's uh, see if we can get some regen here. All right. So, a, a whopping 0 0.02. <laughs> Well, that's okay. Let's do one more run. I was mentioning that uh, back in the day, there was a game that I was playing on one of those 101 games type discs. Do you remember those? You know, you'd get a CD-ROM and like half of the games were demos. It would just open up like a whole bunch of tiles and a bunch of pages of tiles that you could peruse through and like I say, half the games were demos, but there were some full games on there. Like, all the Commander Keen games were on there. Terminator Rampage was on there. I think Wolfenstein was on there. Uh, Spear of Destiny was on there. But there was one game that looked like this. And it was interesting because the enemies that you were fighting were infected files but they were infected files from your computer. So the game would take a look at all the file folders on your system and then generate sprites that were infected file folders, you know, with the actual names. And at the time, you know, it was like, oh my God, you know, that's, that's our pictures file. What's it doing here in the game? You know, it was just really neat. I don't know if that uh, sparks anybody's memory of what the hell that game was, but I lost a lot of time to that game. And in a good way, in a good way, you know. All right, so let's see. Let's get one more upgrade. We've got four now, and then we'll call in our ship real quick. Guess guessing we'll get one once we blow these guys to hell. Come on. Almost. It's like a little dance. 
All right. These little guys. Boy, oh boy. Hard to target sometimes. All right, I'm not waiting anymore. We're going in. Let's get some better gear. Uh, at full tech meter, increase movement speed. No, I'd like I'd like guns. Let's see what we got here. Emit a hacking signal. Sure. This is a shield gang. One hit of invincibility when picking up repair power ups. Invincibility is not stackable. Um, and then oh, and then that will increase the drop rate of repair power ups. That's interesting. Uh, activates when the tech meter is full. Fire a spread of five energy bolts backwards. That sounds good. Uh, let's go with the auto cannon again. And uh, let's see. Shoot a weak energy bolt that slows down targets. Each bolt deals 10% slow debuff. Perfect. We'll go with the EMP bolt. Now, uh, I'm going to say that we are good as far as that stuff goes. We'll just hold off for now on the support stuff. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's what got us last time. Jeez. There's always those moments in time wasters, you know, where you get surrounded. And for a long time, I, I didn't feel like you know, there was a great way to deal with being surrounded. And, and then we got uh, the captain, Ram, with the punching gloves. And uh, that was that was the perfect solution that that game needed. All right, let's call the ship in. I think it's time. We're gonna get some health back, probably. Let's do that before we forget. Okay, perfect. Uh, let's go auto cannon. And we might as well just go full auto cannon at this point. Why not? Uh, launch four missiles that seek enemies. Missiles prioritize larger units if present. Yeah, that sounds good. It's gonna take up our final weapon slot. What else do we got here? Uh, energy bolt travel distance. Oh, you know what? Let's do this one on that drop rate. And uh, that sounds good. We've got one more. Shooting a burst fire of three bolts. That sounds good, too. Okay, we've got eight of these guys. I think we're doing okay. Let's hold on to them. Missiles are looking good. How about those demo discs? Did uh, did anybody have those demo discs? I, I bet it wasn't just me. Maybe even had the ones where it was all educational games. And you were like, yeah, thanks a lot, Ma. Thanks thanks for picking this up, Ma. It's really great, Ma. Thanks. Oh, we got a lot of uh, ships visiting these days. Okay. I do think that the ship repair is popping up more frequently uh, per that upgrade. Oh gosh, here we go. Let's get the hell out of there. Not this time. That tech meter that they're talking about is the orange and that gets charged up simply by moving. Maybe it does charge on its own uh, if you stay still, but it charges even faster when you move. I, I guess we could experiment with that. Oh, boy. All right, you know what? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to call in some support, like for real this time. 
Fire cannons in multiple directions around Avalon. Cannon projectiles bursts into shrapnel on impact. Yes, we're going to buy that. Perfect. Okay. Repair 50% of the ship's total HP when picking up repair power-ups. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Hey, look at this. Here's another instance of it. Increased drop rate of repair power-ups by 100%. Outstanding. All right, what does this do? Deal 20% slow debuff with each bolt. Okay. Oh, wow. Gang one second of invincibility when picking up repair power-ups. Ah, sounds great to me. Uh, reduce cooldown on the hacking, energy bolt, travel distance. Why not? What do we got here? Oh, is this the missiles? It is. Increase missile damage by 50%. Here's another one. Increase number of missiles launched to eight. And uh, well, I feel like they really want us to get this. Let's do it. Okay. We are looking good, I think. And now we've got the ship that's going to be fighting with us. I think that was worth doing. We got five seconds of uh, some support. All right, maybe it was a little, little expensive for what we got out of it. But it did take a good chunk out of this warship, I, I think. Perfect. All right, let's grab that. Back up to seven support tokens. Not terrible. We've got about nine and a half minutes left to survive. I'm feeling good. Now, if we make it back to the support ship again, I gotta grab a sip of coffee. It's It's been a minute here. All right, good, good time to fire that off. Let's get out of there. Spectre's incoming. It does look like it's kinetic energy that is driving the buildup of the orange bar. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, let's see if we can take this one out first, maybe. Perfect. Step one. Uh, I think it's time to call on the ship. Let's do that. Okay. I say missiles. Looks like there's a piercing chance now. Increased number of missiles launched to 12. Sounds great. Okay, Comet Dash. Reduce maximum cooldown time to 30 seconds. Ah, it sounds okay. Uh, fire a spread of 10 energy bolts backwards. Let's do that. And uh, that... Enable turn controls during Comet Dash. Oh, that's interesting. Um, I don't know. I might just go with this damage modifier. Let's do that. All right. Um, I think we probably want to buy the health this time. And I think that will do it. We'll hold on to the five. All right, jumping back in here. A lot of little guys around. Got that, dude. Another one down. Perfect. A lot of support tokens popping out. Okay. Warning incoming wave. Oh, jeez. All right, well, I'm just going to keep aiming down then. We'll grab that. That was great timing on that. 
Oh no. Okay, we need shields. Badly. Our ship is almost ready. Let's see if we can call it in. Perfect, all right. And we can afford the health, which is really the, the best news. Um, let's see what we can grab over here. We've got five. Well, something's getting maxed out here. Energy bolts, travel distance increased 10%. Reduced maximum cooldown time. Let's go with that. And uh, increase kinetic field output size by 50%. That sounds good. What is this? Oh, health regen modifier. <laughs> by a whole point zero one. All right. Hey, beggars can't be choosers, right? Let's go with that. And I think we're ready to rip. To play a barrier surrounding the Avalon. Man, it's gonna cost five now. I don't know, I kinda think we should do it. There we go. Holy moly, it doesn't last long. Whoa. I don't know what that red laser was all about. Okay, we've got a wave from the south. So I'll just focus up and uh, hope that everything works out as far as up top. Okay. Uh, that's a that's a ton of ships. Wow. Uh, these little ones can be such a nuisance. Oh, we must have grabbed a repair that I didn't even realize we did. I do like that they point out via the icons the power-ups that are laying on the field that you haven't gotten. We're at a 54% incursion rate and I gotta tell you, I'm feeling it. Alright, let's see... Oh god. Okay, we're calling in support right now. Holy moly. All right, we're at 91%, so we must have gotten a repair. I think we go with the shielding again. And, you know, we might as well put some points into the hacking module if it's not fully upgraded. After traveling the distance, each energy bolt splits into two. Now, let's do that. All right. We'll put the remaining points into that. And then I think we are ready to rip. Holy cow. Game's not messing around. I gotta tell you. In case that's not completely evident. If I could go back in time... I probably would have reduced the amount of time that it would take for our support ship to come back. Oh boy. It is hard to steer. Some of these shots kind of like spin your ship around. All right, let's see if we can, there we go, perfect. All right, we're gonna go ahead and, oh God. <laughs> and 
Hey, I'll take it. I'll take it. I don't know how that worked out, but it did. Let's grab that. Oh, boy. Let's call this guy in. That shouldn't have worked, but we'll take it, right? Okay. Let's, let's grab our health. Let's uh, fully upgrade that. Do we go regen? Which one is this? Decreases passive cooldown reduction modifier. All right. And then let's pop uh, a point into this. And then I think we're ready to rip again. Um, you know, do we want to do this? It's going to cost 11. Why not? Let's go ahead and pay for this too. We're going to need that ship back as soon as we can get it back. Ooh, I like that it's taken out those ships so quickly. Wow. That's tremendous. I I'm not nervous. You're nervous. Don't don't be nervous. It's okay. It's all good. We're going to we're going to get right out of there. No problem. Big old meaty red laser, two of them. Charged up and ready to go. Holy moly. Alright, 80% incursion. How about it? Oh my goodness. Alright, let's 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 get this guy over here. Get in there, get in there. Ow! Oh. oh. That was good, I mean. Survival time of 1150. Let's call it 12. Let's call it 12. Uh, you know, get some more of these things, right? 25 of them. Now we go back in there, see what we can see. Customize. Um, you know, here, let's, let's do the test right now. Let's see if it can go down. Maybe this ends up being a hurt me. So we're at 1.39 right now. Come on. Yep, let's do it. Okay. So, turns out you can waste these. And I think you can tell how I probably feel about that. So smart money would have been on one of these guys that I haven't modified yet or, you know, saving them until you can get to here. Now... I want to look at one other area. Let's go back into the trans portal here. Let's go into customize. No, let's stay here for a second. Origin, what is that? Oh, I see. Obtain all ships in the pool to unlock. Apparently there's a warp call. Don't know what that does. Oh, okay. All right, so there you go. You, you do a warp call and you end up with a new ship that's got some new capabilities, some remote drones. Good stuff, right? Now we've got another ship. Hey folks, this is a game called Phage X and it is on Steam in early access right now. I would imagine uh, they're gonna continue iterating on this over time. Uh, we have an active giveaway going for this game. If you wanna be in on that, all you gotta do is be subscribed Leave a comment on anything. Maybe uh, maybe you want to talk about how you feel about mint chocolate chip coffee. Or better yet, fruity cereal coffee. Is that something you would ever consider in a million years? You know, we've talked about fruit flavors being good in uh, coffees in the past. So, I don't know. Worth a try, right? Juice might be worth the squeeze. Anyway, thanks for hanging out. And uh, let's do this again sometime out on the Goat Force Gaming channel where we'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because, uh, well, that's what we do every time. So we'll do it again. And, uh, you know, we'll give away a game at least once a week, too. All right, sound good? Hey, have a great rest of your day out there. And uh, we'll see you again soon. You be well.